As most of us know, tornadoes have been very active and destructive over the past couple of months. The Candle Company in Mayfield, Kentucky, we told you about. Well, we're going to have our guest here talk to us in just a second, but we told you about the Candle Company earlier that destroyed the whole Candle Company. Just look at the destruction right there. You can see this happened in Mayfield, Kentucky. And this was rare because it happened in December and it killed eight workers. And it's permanently closing now. You know, half of that factory's 500 employees are being laid off and the rest of them are being offered jobs in other locations. Two weeks ago, another devastating storm tore through Houston. And the next guest you just saw is a small business owner and was a victim of that storm. Her beautiful, thriving boutique building went from this. Here are the pictures you can see. It's fully standing. It's packed with merchandise at the warehouse. And unfortunately, it went to this. You can It's not even a shell. Just the front facade of the building is standing. 95% of her inventory and equipment in a matter of minutes were lost. The building is a pile of bricks at this point. So joining us now is the owner of I Mari Boutique, Martha Iberi. Thank you so much for starting your day with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. First of all, we have to say we are deeply sorry and saddened about the loss of your building, your business. Can you explain to us what exactly happened the night of January 8th and where were you? So the night of January 8th, I was actually at home sleeping and I received a phone call at 7 o'clock that morning saying that a tornado had hit. I had no idea. Uh, we didn't have any warnings. We had received a warning that morning about 4.30 saying that a tornado, by 4.30 that afternoon saying a tornado was going to hit. However, I didn't get any type of note, uh, warning that night of, so I just was at home sleep until the cleaning crew who cleaned our warehouses called and said, hey, you need to get to the warehouse. And I'm like, for what? And they say, your warehouse is gone. And mm. so I was like, gone? And they say, yes, it's gone. So I just here, got in the car because I stayed 15 minutes away from the warehouse. And when I pulled up, I saw exactly what they were saying. It was gone. And what went through your mind, your heart at that moment when you pull up and you see literally it is gone? I literally lost it all. Like, I really lost it. I just burst in tears. I couldn't. I just, it was a very devastating experience because these are things that we see on TV. You know, these are things that you see on social media. So to actually experience it, um, normally we don't have things like this happen in Houston. It was scary, but at the same time, I was glad that my staff and I was not there because when you look at the cameras, it hits so fast and so hard that we would have been dead if we would have been in there. So mm. I was very grateful for that, even though it was a loss. I still was grateful that me and my staff was alive. Yeah, that's true. That's the blessing of it all that everyone is okay. Do you, you plan on rebuilding at this point? Where do you stand now? So right now, um, we're just in the stage of rebuilding, trying to find another location. That's very hard in the city where I want to, you know, be at in Humble because it's a lot of warehouses that's already attended and they have a lot that's not going to be available for a year. So just trying to find another location, working with the landlords to see if they're going to offer us any type of temporary space. Um, and that's the stage that I'm at now, just trying to rebuild. I lost 95% of my inventory, uh, mm. all of my, everything that was in the warehouse is gone. Um, mm. And so we tried to save as much as we could, but it was nothing because everything was full of water and full of, the sheetrock once they started lifting everything and pulling the walls back. And will insurance replace all of those items? No, it will not because, you know, a lot of times you buy an inventory, you just buy, buy, buy. So like for the first of the year, I just go crazy and I just buy so much inventory. And a lot of times we don't even, well, I know for me, I don't have the amount of insurance because I'm looking at, I'm pushing out inventory. So mm. I never increase my, my insurance when it's time to um, have it for inventory because I, I look at the inventory is going to sell. And so by me not increasing it, it's going to be a loss for me because I didn't have enough insurance to cover everything that was in the warehouse because I look at 
I'm pushing out the inventory really fast. Well, that is devastating. We want to help you. We want people to know what your inventory is. So tell us a little bit about your business so people can start to buy, buy, buy to get you back up and going. So it's a plus size clothing boutique. Uh, I sell the plus size. My daughter sells the regular size. And so uh, it's a plus size boutique that is for the classy lady, the sophisticated lady. Um, you can find us at imariboutique.com. And so right now we only have limited uh, items because we don't have a shipping you know, warehouse. So we're putting on our website that your items might not ship for two weeks, but we just opened the website uh, last week, just last Friday, so that customers can see that we are back open. However, we don't have a lot of inventory. Um, we had vendors who sent a lot of stuff in so I can get back to work. And but what's it's that hard email? To get back what's to that work website I address? I want to, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure everybody hears that website address so they can go and order. What is it? It's shopimareboutique.com. And that's I M A R E. Yes, sir. B O U T I Q U E. All right. Well, our thoughts and prayers will definitely continue to be with you, and we wish you all thank the you. best of luck for you in the rebuilding of your business. Martha E. Berry, thank you so much for thank joining so the business.